Yo, what's good everyone? Hope everyone are good. Hope everyone's straight. So today I will show you guys how to install NVE and Quant V for GTA 5. But before we get into that, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. It would be very much appreciated. So let's get into it. Alright, so first thing you want to do is head on over to raisedmods.com. So we're gonna download NVE first. Usually you would have to subscribe to the Patreon to get it, but he recently made the single player version free. So you want to go to racemods.com, click on GTA 5 and then click Natural Vision Involved. Make sure it's involved and not remastered. And then click View and Download. After that, you want to head on over to Quant Mods Patreon. And here you'll have to buy the level 3 membership for $10 a month. Uh, that will give you access to the Discord where you can download the Quant V mod pack. After that, you want to head over to OpenIV and download the latest version. All the links will be in the description so you can easily access them from there. Alright, so once everything is downloaded, you are ready to begin the installation. But first I would recommend unzipping these two zips, so that way you don't corrupt any files when you paste it over to OpenIV. But I'm too lazy so I'm not gonna do that. So we are gonna open OpenIV and press Windows. So now you wanna press this button right here and this pop-up should occur. So, you want to download the ASI loader in the openiv.asi. This pop-up will come up asking you to create a mods folder and you want to click yes. So now you would see a new folder called mods. This is where we're going to install the graphics. So first we're going to start with the NVE. And we're going to drag this to the side and pull this over here. So, you should see three parts and a reshade shaders and an add-ons so you want to start with part one first off you want to turn off turn on edit mode of course and now you can do the drag and drop and this pop-up will appear now it will take some time to install so i will fast forward it but you want to press install and press mods and then click confirm installation Alright, so when it's done, you just want to close it down, and then we are going to do part 2. It's uh, very important you do it in the correct order. Alright, so like last time, we're going to press install, press mods folder, press install again, and we're going to wait. Alright. So we're going to close it down and now we are going to do part 3. So just like previous times we press install, press mods and we press confirm installation. Alright, so now we have NVE installed. Now let's go into the optionals, add-ons. Because in here, there is a bunch of stuff you can add and customize how your game looks. Uh, some of them won't work, so I will show you which ones work and you can, you know, decide yourself if you want to use them or not. But I would recommend using these I'm going to show you now. So first off is the Parallax Road and Pavement Overhaul. So just like last time, we are going to press install, press mods and press install confirm installation. So now that that is done, I would recommend high quality reflections, but you need a really strong computer to run it smoothly. As you can see, it says heavy. So in my case, I'm not going to install it. The same goes for extra vegetation. That one is also pretty good, but it costs a lot on performance. So I'm not going to install it. I'm going to install the volumetric headlights. This makes the in-game headlights on vehicles look so much better than normally. So once again, we press install, and this one you won't be able to install in your mods folder, so you're just gonna go and do it in the game folder. Alright, so the final thing is the white street lights. This I would really recommend. So once again, we're gonna press install, choose the mods folder and press install again. Alright, so 
if you are going to install other mods than the graphic mods, like for example, I have uh, weapon skins and player skins and custom clothing and custom cars, I would recommend also installing this uh, game config. So you want to press install and press mods and install confirm. So now we are completely done with the NVE. So now we want to do the same thing with Quant V. So you want to go into the folder called part one and drag and drop. So we are going to press install, choose the mods folder and press install. All right, so now we are going to do part two. So once again, install, mods folder, install. All right, so now we want to head into optionals and I would recommend installing this one. Uh, it just removes a little bug, but I'm too lazy, so I'm not going to install it. So before we head in game, I would recommend downloading a trainer and downloading the latest script hook V. So I have those two right here and I'm just going to install them to my GTA folder. So you want to take the script hook V, bin. I'm not going to use the native trainer, so I won't take that with me. Extract those. All right. And then do the rampage. I mean, you can use any mod menu you really want. I like Rampage the most, so that's the one I'm gonna use. I will also link Rampage in the description. So, now, since both Quant V and NVE uses Reshade, we want to make sure that the Reshade doesn't overlap each other and break the game. So, you wanna head into NVE folder, take the Reshade shaders, copy everything in here into your GTA 5 directory and you want to press replace any existing files. So now we should be able to open GTA 5. All right, so once in game, you want to go into settings, then graphics, and you want to make sure you are using DirectX 11. Then you can copy my settings if you want. I just have everything on the highest possible. But if you're not going to copy my settings, you need to make sure that you put post effects on the highest possible setting, as well as reflection quality on the highest possible and the texture and shader quality should also be at the highest possible setting. So now you press insert and this will open the reshape menu. Now if the reshape menu doesn't open when you press insert, you will have to go into the NVE folder and copy the reshape shaders folder into your game directory once more, just like we did before launching the game. This should fix the menu and you should be able to open it. So now that we have it open, you want to enable Quant V and Quant V post effects. Then you go into Quant V and there are a bunch of settings you can tweak in here. Now personally, I like to turn on vehicle SSR. This makes the reflections on cars look much better. I also like to disable motion blur and disable anamorphic lens and screen blood effect. Anamorphic lens basically just makes your game run less smooth without really doing anything good. I also like to turn on the Starfield Galaxy. This makes the night sky look way better. So now you can use these tiny arrows here to go over to NVE color. And here I like to turn on saturation. This is what the game looks like normally, but I turn it up to 1500, maybe 1600 to make the colors a lot more vibrant. Okay, so because we're using two different graphics mods at the same time, it's gonna cause some conflicts. One of them being at nighttime, the street lights look very ugly. As you can see, it's almost like foggy. And for some reason, these lights right here are green because of the tree. The other one being that when you turn the whether it's extra sunny. Uh, for some reason, a big yellow mist appears around you, almost like you're in a desert. Okay, so first we're going to fix the nighttime street lights. So what you want to do is head into mods, update x64, DLC packs, and then choose the NVE folder. Then you press DLC, it's x64, and you choose the lights.rpf. Now in here, you want to be very careful because there are these four files all the way at the bottom. We don't want to delete those. So we mark from here all the way to the top and we delete those. Of course, turn on edit mode first and delete. And there you go. Now we should only have these four files remaining and the street lights in game should be fixed. Now to fix the yellow mist, 
we have to download this mod. For some reason, this mod fixes the bug. I don't know why. I have no clue why actually, because they have nothing to do with each other. This mod basically makes the gun sounds in game sound really realistic. So it's a cool mod and I would have used it anyway. But this for some reason fixes the yellow mist. So we're gonna download this. And now that we have it downloaded, we want to install it. So it's pretty straightforward, just like the rest of the stuff. We just drag and drop this. Now you wanna press install, mods and install. There you go. All right, so now we should have fixed all the conflicting errors, so we can start by making it sunny. And as you can see, we have no yellow clouds around us, no dust. And if we go and make the time nighttime, as you can see, we no longer have these foggy lamps and that weird green shine anymore. So yeah, now you have point B and NV installed on your GTA 5. Enjoy!